Hi, uh, Richard Trowans here again from Artificial Lawyer TV. Um, today we're doing another product walkthrough, this time with Joseph, the legal tech company. Uh, we're looking at a new feature they've launched called Flowchart. And with us to explain the new feature is Tom Dreyfus. Um, Tom is the CEO. Hi, Tom. Hi, Richard. It's great to be here with you. Oh, pleasure. Well, let's, uh, we'll have a few questions after the demo of the walkthrough. Uh, but let's just get straight into this, um, and I think it will be self-explanatory. So please, if you could share your screen and, and let's let's have a little walkthrough. Absolutely, happy to dive right in. All right, I will share my screen, and we can talk about why we've released the flowchart. So, the flowchart for Joseph is a pretty significant new feature, and it's one that arises out of the demand from our customers to build more complex and more powerful bots. So what they do on Joseph is they create tools that solve problems like workflow, process, document automation. And sometimes those processes get pretty complicated. And so in an earlier version of the flowchart, the decision tree logic underlying those workflows could become a real mess. And so what we've released now is a simplified, clear layout for reflecting the decision tree logic that underpins a legal bot. There are really three key things that have changed about the way the flowchart operates on Joseph. The first and probably the least important, but it, it actually is one that our customers have asked for for quite a while is dynamic zoom. The ability to focus on the part of your flow that you want to focus on. So you can take the overview approach where you see everything that's going on, or you can dive into the detail when that's what you need to focus on. The second key feature is the ability to add connections to messages instantly. So when you're building a bot, you have to create the next step in the workflow um, to, you know, to determine how it's gonna play out for the user. Now, when you're creating a complex bot, that can be a lot of steps. And one of the things our customers told us was that they wanted to be able to do that really quickly. And so in the new flowchart, you can connect messages directly to the preceding message to enable really, really rapid creation of an automation tool and of that workflow. But I think for our, from our perspective, the most important feature really is the layout that you're seeing on your screen. So when we designed the new flowchart, what we were focused on was making it really easy to take complex logic and display it in a simple visual interface. Decision trees, like I said, can get pretty complicated. And so we developed an algorithm based on all of the bots that have been built on the platform that determines how this flowchart is gonna be presented the most logical way that creates the greatest amount of visibility for users when they're creating a logic flow. And so to give you an example, here we have a bot that is set up basically as like the, the front door for an in-house legal team, asking what we want to do today and then giving us a few different options. Um, but we also have a branch over here on the right of unconnected messages. So a path that we, want, that we want to go down if our user says in response to that first question that they want answers to some of their legal queries. And so what the new flowchart's going to do is allow us to hook up the existing decision tree to that unconnected branch. And as you can see here, it's reorganized the flowchart for us so that it conveys really simply and clearly all of the different paths that the user can go down. And so the reason this is significant for Joseph, the reason why I think this feature has all of us in the company pretty excited is that it's going to enable our builders to build faster. It's gonna enable them to build more complex bots. And finally, it's going to enable them to deploy tools that are going to work. And when I say work, I mean, they're not gonna have bugs because the user interface is gonna tell them where there might be breaks in their logic. As you saw earlier, those 
unconnected messages that were displayed in red. That's a great example of the interface actually doing the work for you, the kind of bug spotting and um, connection fixing work. It's gonna do a lot of that heavy lifting for our users. So hopefully that provides you with a bit of a helpful overview of, of what the platform um, can do and what this new feature, why this new feature is important. We're really excited about it. Thanks, Tom. That's great. Very good uh, overview. Thanks very much. So just, just briefly, so how big a change is this from what you had before? That's a, that's a great question. I think this is a really significant change. Um, what we were finding was that most of our customers were building the bigger and more complex bots in the text-based representation of their logic flow. So something that looked more like a sort of a form builder, the list. Whereas what this flowchart enables is a fully visualized representation of the decision tree logic underlying a bot. So rather than just relying on a list of questions that your bot's gonna ask without being able to see the underlying logic, now you get to jump into the flowchart and say, okay, this is how the workflow is gonna play out this is how I control which path my user goes down. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, it looks very interesting. And the just last question um, is sure. how much does this cost? Does, does this cost more uh, than what you normally charge? I and mean, how does this work? Absolutely. So the flowchart is part of Joseph's core product. Every one of our existing customers gets access to it. Every one of our new customers is going to get access to it as part of the product. Um, there is no extra that you need to pay for this new feature. We believe that the future of legal automation is about adoption and engagement among legal professionals and our mission to make it as easy as possible to build legal automation tools is reflected in this flowchart. So there's no extra cost, it's just part of the product. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Tom. Uh, that's very, very helpful. And uh, there'll be a link at the end of this video and uh, you know, go and check it out. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Bye-bye. Thanks, Richard. Bye.